Hi, today I'm going to do um, a makeup look. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I have a few products that I quite like that I've put on my table here and um, I'm just going to see what happens. I had a really, really, really late night and um, I look terrible and I've broken out in spots all over my, around my mouth and chin. And um, we were the last to leave the party. Well, myself and um, a few other people were the hardcore people that had to be kicked out of the venue. Um, so I need to make myself look a hell of a lot better and um, makeup is the thing that's gonna do it. Right, to start with, I'm gonna use um, some Pro Lumiere by Chanel. I I'm gonna just put a thin layer of this all over and then I'm gonna use some Vichy Derma Blend to address my breakout. So I've put a thin layer of Pro all over, just to even out my poor dehydrated face. Now, I'm going to use some Vichy Derma Blend, and this is number 15. I'm just going to cover over these great big things. So I'm just blending in some under eye concealer as well. I've used um, Clinique Airbrush just underneath my eyes. Okay, now to set all the concealing that I've done around my mouth with the Vichy Derma Blend, I'm going to use some Inglot Loose Powder. I'm going to use it with a sponge, which I don't really normally do on myself, except when I've got tons of spots and I need to do some major concealing work and then it just really sets it and holds the concealer in place. I don't need to do this all over my face, but just in the areas. And where I've got um, a couple of raised ones, which I have, I'm also going to set it with a little bit of double wear. powder so kind of is heavier there than the rest of my face but I don't think anyone will notice the difference and then the rest of my face using my brush go back in with some loose powder so onto my eyes and because I'm looking a bit sallow today I am going to use some cool colors some sort of pep me up colors um, I'm going to try this lilac lavender color which is um, a makeup forever aqua cream just as a base. So that's going to go straight onto my lids. I'm just going to blend that up to the socket line. I love this colour. So pretty. So next I'm going to use this RMK pencil. And this is great because it's got a really fat, thick pencil one side and then quite a big sponge applicator which has powder to match on the other side. So it's really good for eyes on the go. And I thought I'd just use this to blend at the outer corner. Let's create a shape with the pencil first and then I'll use the sponge to blend everything in. tiny bit underneath and then using the other end it's so easy to use and so quick okay I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and for my eyelashes I'm going to use experience by max factor
Oh, such a nice mascara. I don't know what the marketing bump is on it, but I don't know what they're claiming it does, but it is really nice. It's really sort of lightweight and um, it gives real big impact. It gives you really big lashes. I think I quite like them nice and thick and lashy today because it sort of detracts from how tired I'm looking. Okay, next I'm going to use some blusher. Um, I'm going to put blusher on before my eyebrows just because I'm desperate to get some colour on my face. And I'm going to use Fleur Power by MAC. And it's nice and sort of a warm, rosy pink. I'm mainly going to use it just around the apples of the cheeks. But make sure it's blended as well. Up and out from there. But starting on the apples and then just blending away. So I put on plenty of blusher. Again, it's sort of just lifting my skin and helping me to look less tired. Next I'm going to use Smoke, which is just a matte um, eyeshadow by Bobbi Brown. And I'm going to give myself a more defined eyebrow. And to finish off, I'm going to use Rouge Coco Shine in Boy. This is the colour that I wore last night to go out. It's just really natural. It was really fun last night. There was, because um, it was a BAFTA and Vogue dinner. And there was lots and lots of actors and famous people there. There was lots of the cast of Harry Potter, Colin Firth. And it was quite a small, intimate dinner. So it was very good fun. So that's it. That's the look. It looks nice and natural. Um, so yeah, I didn't really know where it was going to go, but I'd say it's ended up quite spring-like and um, quite pretty. So that's really pepped me up. That'll help me to get through today. So um, I hope you like it and I'll see you soon.